internet! Shout is here! Shoutstone time! So in today's update, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about a post that just went up on the official Hearthstone website, where they went into talking about the arena mode. Now, if all of you caught the live stream last week, then you probably already know all these facts, but at least now it's a nice condensed tec uh, text form. And they've also revealed some images of all the keys that you can win by playing in the arena mode. Uh, so just in case you happen to miss the stream, or you want to kind of get a quick refresher on what arena mode is, I'll go ahead and give you the kind of the rundown of this piece. Uh, basically, the arena is the build and battle mode, where essentially you... The first thing you do when you get into arena mode is you construct your deck. And the first thing you do is you get three random heroes, you pick the hero that you want, and then you build a deck on the fly. You'll be getting rounds of three cards. You pick the card you want, then you get another three. Pick the next card, you get another three. And it keeps going and going and going until you get 30 cards. Now, the trick to this, you want to try to build a cohesive deck out of the cards you get, but it's all up to chance. You know, you could start by building a deck that's maybe a beast-centric hunter deck, and then all of a sudden, all you're getting is, like, high-end murloc cards, or dragons, or, or something like that, and all of a sudden, you have to shift focus. And now you're getting, like, a murloc-heavy deck, or maybe a late-game-heavy deck, and it's, it's like a survival until the late game, and who knows? But that's what the beauty of this mode is. It's all random, and you're only going to be using this deck against other people in the arena. So everybody's on the same peg as far as what they got and how skilled they are. So yes, this is a, this is a real test of your skill and knowledge of this game, that you can construct a pretty cohesive deck from 90 random cards. So it's pretty awesome. Now to get into the arena... Uh, when you start a new arena playthrough, you basically have to pay the entry fee, which is either going to be gold, which you can acquire from playing the game uh, and doing quests, or by actually paying real money into the game. So, either way, you can get you entry into the arena. Now, when you're in the arena, what do you do? Well, once you build your deck, you then start battling. You just dive right into it headlong. And the thing is, you just gotta win. The more you win, the more keys you get. And I'm going to show you here. These are the 10 keys that are currently in the game. This could change. It is in pre-beta right now. But these are your 10 keys. As Every win you get upgrades your key level. Now the trick is, is that you're only ever going to face off against other people with the same win-loss record as you. So if you're 0-0, you're going to go up against another 0-0 player. If you're 8-0, you're going to go up against another 8-0 player. So it's going to get harder the further and further you get. Ultimately, as you can see in the lower right corner there, that is the Grand Master Key. Currently, it takes nine wins to get that key. Uh, I think that's a pretty... I think the way they have it designed is pretty solid right now. Obviously, we'll have to kind of actually test it out. But that will these will all unlock different prizes. So whether you get to the end, end key or you lose three times, that is the end of your arena run. Of course, you can end an arena run early if you want to, I don't know why you would, but you can. You have that ability, I guess. When you get your key, and you cash out, you then move on to unlock five chests. As you can see here, this is kind of what the chests... These are basically what the chests look like right now. And you, and you just open them all up. The higher quality your key, the better quality of stuff you're going to find in these, in these chests. You can get gold, arcane dust for crafting. You can get really high quality gold cards, rare cards... Uh, you can unlock packs, of course. Uh, if you watch the live stream, they ended up getting a pack out of one of these boxes, which contained a legendary card. A legendary, uh, I think it was Karen Bloodhoof. So you can get some pretty sweet loot out of this, even if you only win one game. So, it's a really awesome mode. Now, as some of you may know, it used to be called The Forge. The reason they changed the name, and they explained this on the stream, and they explain it here, is that there's also a mode in the game where you craft cards, and you improve your cards. And that sort of had a lot of confusion, where, you know, the Forge, while it is still kind of a building mode, it was confused very easily with the actual build mode in the game, that crafting mode. So they changed the name to the Arena, which is great for the constant theme, the consistent theme, I should say, of World of Warcraft, or just Warcraft. Uh, and it fits the, the uh, mode really well, because it's basically just like you're diving headlong to fight against other people. There's no gentle, you know, there's, there's no easy way about this. You're doing this because you want to fight. Um, but that's really the gist of it. That's Arena Mode. That's what this article is about. The link to this article is in the description below if you want to read it yourself, if you want to leave your own comments. Uh, but there you go. That's just a quick gist of what this is about. Thanks very much for listening, of course, as always. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Hearthstone action. 
Uh, one thing I am going to try and do, and I say try because I haven't yet experimented in this, but I do want to try doing some casting some Cockatrice games before the beta comes out, because I know a lot of people really want to see something different and not just the same stuff that they've seen a billion times, and I really am po apologizing. I wanted to focus on the main game because I like the presentation of it, and the Cockatrice obviously doesn't have that same kind of presentation, but people have asked for it, so who am I to say no to my lovely listeners and subscribers? If you're not a subscriber yet, click that link. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. I trust in you to make the right decision. But other than that, thank you very much for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, uh, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that we ask of everybody who's on YouTube. Uh, thanks very much for listening. We'll see you next time.